Hi there. Now for this question, we're given this diagram which shows a metal plate made by fixing together two pieces, OABCD, which is shown shaded here, and OAED, which is shown as unshaded. The piece OABCD is a minor sector of a circle with center O and radius 2R. The piece OAED is a major sector of a circle with center O and radius R. Angle AOD is alpha radians. And simplifying your answers where possible, find in terms of alpha, pi and R, in part one, the perimeter of the metal plate for three marks. And then in part two, the area of the metal plate for three marks. And then finally, we're told that it is now given that the shaded and unshaded pieces are equal in area. And we've got to find alpha in terms of pi for two marks. So if you'd like to have a go at any of these questions here, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, first of all, here are the numerical answers to part one, part two and part three. In part one, the perimeter is alpha r plus two pi r plus two r. And in part two, the area of the metal plate is 3 alpha r squared over 2 plus pi r squared. And finally in part 3, alpha in terms of pi is given by alpha equaling 2 pi over 5. Now if you didn't get any of these answers, what I'll do is I'll go back and show you how I got them. OK, well I'll take you through part 1 then. Now. The perimeter, let's just denote it as P, is going to equal, first of all, this arc length. Now this arc length is part of the circumference of a circle with centre O and radius 2R. So we're going to have a fraction of that circumference, and that fraction is alpha compared with a full turn of what would be 2 pi radians. And so it's this fraction of the circumference. So we multiply it by the circumference, which would be 2 pi times the radius. But the radius here is 2r. So we've got 2 pi times 2r. Then to this, we would add, say, the arc length of this major sector. And for that one, we've got to have this angle in here. Now knowing that there's 2 pi radians in one complete turn and you've got alpha radians here, this must be 2 pi minus alpha radians, OK? So for that one, the fraction of the circumference is going to be 2 pi minus alpha, and that's divided by 2 pi. And then it would be multiplied by 2 pi times the radius of the circle, which is just r. OK, so again, a fraction of the circumference of this circle here gives us this arc length. We also need to add this length and this length to complete the perimeter of the shape. So it would be plus r plus another r, that would be plus 2r then. All we need to do now is just simplify this. And I can see that that 2 pi cancels with that 2 pi, and this 2 pi cancels with this 2 pi. When it comes to working out arc length for circles where the angle here is in radians, all we need to do really is just put the angle multiplied by the radius. So that's a short way of doing it, but I've just decided to show you the working there. Anyway, tidying this up, for this term here, we've got 2r times alpha, so that's going to be 2 alpha r. When it comes to this term, we need to multiply the bracket with r. So you're going to get r times 2 pi, so that's going to be plus 2 pi r. And then you've got r times minus alpha, so that's going to be minus alpha r. And then you've got the plus 2r on the end there. And so we can group the terms together. 2 alpha r minus alpha r is just going to give us alpha r. And then you've got plus 2 pi r. 
and then you've got the plus 2r on the end there. So that's the perimeter then of our shape. Okay, well, let's just move on now to the second part. In the second part, the area of the metal plate we've got to find. So again, if you'd like to have a go at this now, you might want to just pause the video. Okay, just to remind you, that answer then for part two was 3 alpha r squared over 2 plus pi r squared. So how did I get this? Well, it's very similar in ways to what we just did here when it comes to working out the areas of each of the sectors. It's going to be for this sector here a fraction of the area of a complete circle. So let's just put an intro here, the area, and it's going to equal the fraction, which will be alpha compared with 2 pi, alpha out of 2 pi, of, that would be to multiply, the area of the complete circle. That would be pi times the radius squared, but the radius is 2r, so it's pi times 2r all squared. And to this we've got to add the area of the major sector here. So again it will be a fraction of the area of the circle. That fraction will be 2 pi minus alpha divided by 2 pi multiplied by pi times the radius squared. Well the radius is r so it's going to be multiplied with pi r squared. I'll put that in brackets, not that I need to, the division line is adequate there. So cleaning this one up, the pi's here cancel and the pi here cancels with this pi. And what have we got? Well we've got 4r squared here if we square this out divided by 2 so that's 2r squared times the alpha so you've got 2 alpha r squared. And for this one we'll have r squared times 2 pi that will be 2 pi r squared but we'll be dividing by 2 so you've got plus pi r squared. And then for this term in here r squared times minus alpha is minus alpha r squared but don't forget we're still dividing by 2 so it's minus alpha r squared over 2 or a half alpha r squared. So we've got 2 alpha r squared minus a half alpha r squared that's going to be 1 and a half alpha r squared or 3 alpha r squared over 2 and then plus the pi r squared. Okay. Now for part 3, we're told then that it is now given that the shaded area and the unshaded pieces are equal in area. Find alpha in terms of pi. So for this one, remember the answer was alpha equals 2 pi over 5. So I'll show you how I got this one. Well, if the areas are equal, Let's start with the area of the minor sector. We worked it out here. Okay, It was this fraction of the area of the complete circle. And that's simplified to 2 alpha r squared. So we'll just put that one in, that 2 alpha r squared, that's the area of the minor sector, equals the area of the major sector. And we worked that out here. And it's simplified to pi r squared minus alpha r squared over 2. So for this one, what I could do is I'll add half alpha r squared to both sides. So therefore we've got 2 and a half alpha r squared, or better still, I prefer to write it as 5 alpha r squared over 2. And that will equal the pi r squared here. I can see that each term has r squared in, so I could cancel that out. OK, divide both sides by r squared. And so, therefore, to get alpha, the subject in terms of pi, if I was to multiply both sides by 2, 5 alpha would equal 2 pi, then divide both sides by 5, then I'd get alpha equals 2 pi divided by 5, or 2 fifths pi. OK?